<laughs> Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's a Frilici Friday. We love Fridays around here, right? Especially because we get to play and craft and have fun with fun products, right? So yes, if you are new to Facebook Live, if you've never joined me before, I generally go live pretty much every Friday right here at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. Hello, Miss Philomena. So I always like to pick fun products to share projects that I'll make for you in just a little bit. So I wanna show you, I'm gonna show you the product in just a second, cause I'm super excited about this. Um, it's actually some retiring product too. I picked it before I realized it was retiring. Um, so now it's even more crucial that if you fall in love with this, make sure you get it as soon as you can, right? Hello, hello. So glad you can be on here. I'm seeing other names popping up. Thank you for the share already too, Philomena. I appreciate that. Hello, Susie. Yeah, so, and the other thing that I want to make sure, cause I mentioned it later on, but I think, you know, hey Jenny, I should mention it now, right? So when I demonstrate the projects at the end of the video, I always upload pictures of the projects to my blog, which is at Gathering Inc with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com. Pictures will be over there. The product like item codes will be over there. The dimensions, the colors, everything that you need to know to recreate the projects that I'm gonna show a little bit later, as well as if you put, hello, Mr. Mike, um, if you put in an online order of at least $30 between now and next Wednesday, you actually get the projects that I demonstrate on Facebook Live um, with your free, with your order. So that's another awesome perk for ordering through me is you get those fun projects as well. So then you can get those and then it's the best way to have them in your hand to recreate from there. So yeah. So um, let's see what else. I think that was all I really wanted to say about that. Let me show you the product that we are going to use. So we have, this is super cute. I've had this stamp set for a while and just was finally like, okay, this is like the perfect spring kind of product to play with. So we are gonna play with the Pretty Parasol stamp set today. And like I said, this is retiring. So we're gonna talk about that in just a sec that the retiring lists are out already. It feels like super early, which I think it is because the catalog is retiring a month earlier than it normally is. Hello, Denise. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Okay. So yeah, and they've got some great sentiments here too. Like we've got, it's a happy day. Um, you make the day brighter. I love that sentiment, right? Um, thank you for being my sunshine and wishing you warmth and sunshine. So those are teeny tiny. You can barely read those, but then some really pretty parasols, right? Umbrellas it was actually rainy here today. I thought super appropriate that we're going to play with this stamp set because it kind of rained overnight. It's stopped. It's drying out, which is awesome. Then in addition, you have the, um, this is the umbrella builder punch, I think it's called. Yeah. So you've got the big parasol, the little parasol, and then um, the little handle there too. So awesome. It's not a bundle. You have to buy them separately. I'll give you the item codes. Like I said, good morning. Good morning. Um, so yeah, you can um, get these still. They're still available, but right. The retiring lists have come out. Everything is basically while supplies last now. Um, I will show you guys. So I printed out, <laughs> they're calling it last chance product list. So teeny tiny, what I'm um, sharing, and actually was commenting about how tiny it is. I don't have the other, so I printed it. Um, wait, this is this is landscape. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. So yeah, I printed it portrait first, and so all this, this information was super smushed. So if you are able to print it, um, print it landscape, because it will give you a little bit. <laughs> it's a little bit bigger. I think you still need glasses. But it is basically like, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like full, I've got front and back pages here. Like it is a ton of product that is retiring. So everything is basically while supplies last now through the end of the catalog period, which is May 2nd, I think. Yeah, May 3rd actually is when um, all of this will definitely retire. So, you know, in colors like Rococo Rose, um, Pretty Peacock, Seaside Spray, I do not have them in front of me. Um, purple posy and there's one more that I'm totally drawing a blank on anyway those five in colors are retiring I'm sure things have already um, started to sell out on the in colors so get that stuff as fast as you can okay um, and then in addition great discounts too which like I don't even have my glasses here but I think when I kind of scan through here quickly I think there are some things that are up to like 75 and even 80 percent off so take a look at this I will be emailing um, later on this afternoon so if you're on my email list I'll give you a link um, so that you can kind of look at it in like an excel format and it's by page number 
to somewhere over here. It'll tell you, where is it? Oh yeah, in this column, the second column over right here, it'll tell you because the first couple of things are actually in the beginner brochure, so not to be confused with the annual catalog. So the beginner brochure is also retiring and probably a lot of you haven't even seen that, but there are some, thing some things mentioned on here that are retiring from that as well. But basically it goes like in page number order. So what I like to do is I grab my catalog, right? And then I've got my whole uh, retiring list here and I literally flip like page by page and I will start highlighting everything that's retiring. So here's a good example. The, um, this is the Celebrate Sunflowers bundle is retiring, but the stamp set and the dies that go together in the bundle are not retiring. So there's, don't be confused. In some cases, it's just the bundle where you get that 10% off of the stamp set and the dies. And then in other cases, it's everything. It's the stamp set, the dies, the bundle, all of it. So just kind of pay attention to that too, if you're looking at the details. There is also, and I'm, I forgot to check, but I'm about positive that, that if you go to stampinup.com, there's gonna be a banner that says like last chance products. Click on that and it's gonna give you pictures of everything that is retiring also that is still available. So if things are already sold out, you're not even gonna see them on there. These lists are updated. Mm, actually, I don't know if they are. That's what they used to do. Um, I can't say, I don't know. I'd have to look back. I can't remember if they update this list or not, or maybe it just goes away once it's gone. Um, so yeah, but basically get your order in ASAP if you're wanting retiring stuff and then you avoid the hassle of, um, you know, wanting to get something and not being able to get it, right? Okay, so, um, oh, also though, too, another funny little tidbit because um, <laughs> Lily basically ran out the door this morning when I was like, hey, Lil, I have a project for you because what I do is I'll go through and highlight one catalog and then I'll give her a stack of them. And then she goes through and like copies all my highlights. Well, she was not having that. So she's like, uh, maybe tomorrow I can do that for you, mother. <laughs> no, she did not say it like that. That's more like me being like a sassy teen right there. <laughs> Hello, Amy. Uh, so no, she was a little more gracious about it, but um, basically she's like, I'm not gonna be doing that for you right away, mom. So hopefully I will have those. And what I like to do is even put a few of them out on the porch so you can come grab them and take a flip through them and see if there's anything that you would like. Um, so if you're local, that's something that will be available. Um, hopefully later this weekend when Lily gets that done. Or who knows, maybe I'll sit tonight and do it myself. We'll see. All right, so yeah, but retiring list, last chance lists are out. The other thing that they did was they gave us, this is a last chance list of products from the January to June mini catalog. Now this catalog is actually good through in teeny tiny print, where is it? I think it's June 30th. Yeah, June 30th, um, products are available in here. They did, <laughs> Sharon, she's on spring break pl plenty of time. I know, but these the retiring lists might not wait, right? So she's got lots of time, but I don't have lots of time for her to do it, I don't think, so we'll see. Um, but okay, so back to the last chance list for the mini catalog. Basically, they just gave us a list of everything that's gonna retire. So I, and I shared this link as well, right? So if, um, if it's not on here, then it means it's gonna carry over to um, either the next mini catalog or the next annual catalog. There are no discounts listed on here yet. Those discounts will start, I think they said on June 1st. So just be warned if there's something again on here that you really, really want, maybe order it sooner than later. Um, unless you really wanna wait and see if you can get a discount on it, then I would like be checking right on June 1st and order as soon as you can then, okay? All right, so I think that kind of gets you guys updated on what's going on. Let me scoot this stuff out of the way. I have my highlighter here too. I was like, oh yeah, I had to show you. <laughs> All my highlighting that I had to do. I did that this morning. That was kind of fun going through. Although I barely paid attention. I feel like a ton of stamp sets re are retiring though. That was like, I was like, oh my gosh, that one's retiring and that one. I'm like, I have all of these too. So I'm like, okay, that's gonna clean out the craft room for me because I'll be doing a buy one, get one free sale. Uh, usually I do it in June, although yeah, probably still June. Um, the catalog actually launches in beginning of May this year, so I could do it earlier. Um, but we're gonna go to Maui too, the middle of middle, middle later part of May. So that kind of bunches everything up and makes it harder to get events planned. So we'll see, I'll keep you posted on that. I got a little time to think about when I'm gonna do that one. So, 
Um, okay, so let's do our first drawing, right? So we are gonna draw for the star designer elements, these fun, beautiful, these are retiring too. So if you love these and you don't win them, um, you are going to want to order them ASAP, right? So your name is in the little basket right here. If you shared the Facebook Live video anytime between last Friday and um, last night at like midnight. And also if you're new to me and have not signed up for my email list, if you've done that, then your name is in here also. Okay, so we're gonna shake these names around and let's see who the lucky winner, they always get stuck together and I'm like, I have to make sure everyone has a fair chance. I gotta bounce them all around here. Okay, so one, name in my hand oh my gosh this is so funny so miss vena who just won last week also i had this thought of like what if vena wins two weeks in a row vena you definitely better get on and um play your lotto tickets right because you have some luck um on your side right now so congratulations miss vena i will get these little star designer elements sent out to you congratulations all right, so let me get rid of those. I gotta get names in for the next drawing, so we're all ready to go for that. So next Facebook Live, we are gonna be giving away, and these are some of my absolute favorite embellishment. They have been on back order for quite a while, so I didn't really wanna feature them until now that I know um, that they are available to order. But these are the most beautiful, the pastel pearls. I love these little babies, and I actually feel like there's another color in here. We're gonna have to open these up. I think there's like a real pale pink in here too, but it's covered by um, the little label. Let's make sure. Maybe I'm crazy. I'm not. Okay, good. Ooh. Oh, they're not attached to anything. Okay. Well, here, let me just open this up. There. So there, we've got the pretty pastel. All these, they're like Easter eggs almost, right? The like the little, um, this might be like petal pink. I'm going to say Highland Heather. This is like a smoky slate, like a gray, and then I'm going to call that gorgeous grape. So, <laughs> Denise, yes, go get your lottery ticket. <laughs> yes, okay, so this is what we will give away on our next Facebook Live are these pastel pearls. If you share the video, so go ahead and start sharing. My, I truly appreciate your shares, especially if there are other crafting groups that you are a part of, other Facebook groups. I love for you to be able to share to those groups because then that helps me reach lots more fun new friends that wanna hang out and craft with me and you, right? So, or if you sign up for my email list, okay? Your name will go in the drawing next week for those pastel pearls. All right, let's see. Oh, you know what else I wanted to show you guys was, um, so I know I talk about my downline, my inspired stampers, my team members pretty regularly. And I thought one thing that I haven't shown you guys, and I think this is kind of good to know, um, is something that I do every single month for them is I look at their monthly sales total. And if they reach the threshold of $600 or more, they go into something that I call the $600 club, and then they get a fun prize from me. So let me show you the prize that everybody received that um, had more than $600 in sales last month in February, because we're in March right now, right? Yeah, so I gave these out at our team meeting um, last week, the week before. Um, anyway, so this is a bolt of the Blackberry Bliss striped ribbon. So everybody that reached more than $600 in sales, in addition to all the other fun benefits that they get like additional commission, which is why I really try to promote you being able to reach that $600 sales mark. Hello, Pam. Um, when you do that, you get additional commission on all of your sales, right? So it's a great incentive um, for that commission. And then I throw in a little something extra as a congratulations um, on your ordering and your sales that month. So thank you for the share, Miss Pam. So I wanted to just share that. Um, and man, I thought there was something else I was going to say about that too. But I don't know. I have lost my brain. It's like, it's gone, ladies. <laughs> it should be Friday night already is kind of how I'm feeling right now. So we will get through this, I'm sure. But um, yeah, hopefully not too many blunders. What was it last week? I laughed. I can't even remember. I said something and I think it was Philomena that was like, good catch. And I'm like, okay, I can't, I can't even remember what it was now. And hopefully I don't have any of those that I have to have a good catch for this week. So we'll see, right? Um, okay, so let's do, we're gonna do our other drawing. So you guys know, right? Hello, <laughs> Lori, morning stampers. <laughs> okay, that totally sounds like something Cade would say, but he'd say it in kind of like a funny voice. He'd be like, morning ladies, morning stampers. And then he would like launch off on using some other lingo that like, I totally don't think that he should know because he doesn't really do this very much, but apparently he listens and hears a lot more of what I have to say than I realized. And right now I can't even give you 
you an example of what that is. One of these days I'm going to get him on here on the live. Next week is spring break. We'll see. Uh, I don't know. They still have basketball. Actually, oh, quick update on that too. I know you guys want to know about that. So um, let's see. Last night we had our first district basketball game. So we actually district started on Tuesday, but we had a bye. So we didn't have to play Tuesday. And then we played last night and um, we did beat this team. I think it was like, was it 30 or maybe even 40 points? Anyway, it was a pretty big shellacking. Um, but Kate had a great game. I think he ended up with like 22 points. Um, he, yeah, he had, a, it was a lot of fun to watch basically. And many of the boys had super duper games. Hello, Tammy. I'm glad you are. <laughs> oh, Lori, did you listen? Are you listening on the radio? I wonder, I'm curious. She, she was saying Cade was hot last night. Yeah. In the first half, he had 17 points. So, and then he didn't play a ton in the second half because they were so far ahead. So that was awesome because they brought up a bunch of um, boys from the JV team. So they all got to get in and play too, which is super fun. Cause I remember when Cade was on the JV team and he got to get into a district game um, and it was so fun for him because he actually shot a three-pointer and he made it and so he was like "Ooh, look at me look at me all excited to be on a varsity team next year so yeah it was it's fun it's so fun um oh saw it on the news nice okay I want to know more about that Lori you'll have to like um fill me in what news <laughs> uh yeah now I'm like super curious um but yeah so anyway we play again on Saturday night seven o'clock Alma is actually hosting districts um, and so, yeah, we play Shepherd, which is a team just up the road uh, toward Mount Pleasant. Um, and so we're going to play them. And we haven't played them all year long. So we kind of have no idea what to expect um, from their team. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can win districts. Because I think if we win, this will be like maybe like the sixth year in a row that they've um, won the district title. Um, I'll know I'll know for sure after Saturday how many years it's been, but they've done really well in districts for many years. So that's the hope is they can get out of districts and move into regionals for next week. And I feel like there was a reason I was mentioning that, something about next week. Oh, that's what it was because I was thinking, oh, maybe Cade could be on Facebook Live with me next week, but it probably depends on um, basketball too. So hello, Becky. Thanks for hanging out with us and sharing that video. Um, okay, so let's do our other drawing. We are now going to draw for the Queen Anne's Lace stamp set. And this is a beautiful stamp set that I believe is not retiring. So if you don't win it today, if you didn't put an online order in, then maybe you can just order it yourself, right? Um, so I love the sentiments. I think I showed these last week, but I want to mention them again. So we've got, I know you have the strength to get through this. That's that one right there. We've got, hello, friend. Um, celebrating all the wonderful things about you. Oh, that's awesome, right? Then we've got some beautiful, the Queen Anne's Lace. Um, duh, what do I want to say? Two-step stamping, right? So you've got kind of the first image and then you can overlay with this image right here. We've got best wishes, thanks, and oh, and I'll be right by your side. So that's kind of like an inside-outside thing where I say, I know you have the strength to get through this and I'll be right by your side. So awesome stamp set. We are going to give this away to one lucky winner who put... Um, who put an online order in last week of at least $30. They also are receiving the projects that I demonstrated on last week. Everybody that put an online order in is gonna get these two beautiful butterfly cards as a thank you from me. As well, if they bumped their order up to over $50, they got to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment. And I have to tell you, this um, tutorial the, for the month of March is packed full of techniques. So if you want some fun new like ideas to kind of add to your stamping, um, I would definitely get this Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. Um, you still have a chance to get it. If you put an online order in of at least $50, you can get this for free um, now through the end of March. Um, so yeah, great time to put your order in, get your retiring products, spend at least $50 because then you get more free goodies. Lots of good stuff, right? Lots of freebies for ordering through me, which I truly, truly appreciate every single order that comes my way. So thank you guys for those. So, okay, with that being said, we are going to draw for the Queen Anne's Lace Stamp Set. Okay, here we go. Let's see, what is Sharon saying? There are a lot of nice stamp sets. Oh yeah, that are sticking around. That's good. I only focused on the ones that I was highlighting, Miss Sharon, to be honest. Um, so I don't even know. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to pay more attention to which ones are sticking around. 
I probably need to get a few of them too. So, okay. All right, here we go. And the winner of the Queen Anne's Lace Stamp Set is, I have one name in my hand, Miss Kathy Hilliard. Now, I want to say, did Kathy win last week too? I'm trying to remember. Um, I feel like we've got, so Kathy, I, I think maybe she did. So I would go get your lotto ticket too, Miss Kathy. So congratulations on winning the Queen Anne's Lace Stamp Set. I will get that sent out to you along with um, those cards, the butterfly cards. Okay, one more quick thing to tell you guys about, oh, this is, so for um, the next Facebook Live that we do, your name will go in the drawing to win the Hooray to You stamp set. Super cute, I love that fun happy birthday balloon, right? And then we've got time to celebrate, hooray, and oh, this would be, okay, right, happy birthday to you. Um, and then some cute little flowers. I love those, especially these are great. I always love to stamp these like in the corner of an envelope, on the back side, like on the flap of an envelope or on the inside of the card. You know, if you put a piece of white cardstock inside, those are just super cute to kind of stamp like in the corners of things. So I love those little bitty baby um, flower stamps. Those might be some of my favorite, actually. I love, look at, okay, I have to like zoom in. Aren't those so cute? That just, I don't know, there's something about um, the look of those little flowers. So super fun, cute. Put your online order in. Use the host code that is on my blog at Gathering Inc. with a K. So gatheringinspiration.com. And I'll give it to you in just a moment here. Let me flip the camera down, which I think we are, we're ready to do that. Yeah, okay. So I've got another, um, something I wanna show you guys, but I wanna flip the camera down so you can see better that way too. So, and don't forget to like, comment, and share this video as many times as you would like. I truly appreciate um, kind of all that activity too. I think it helps um, kind of boost the Facebook Live too to get out to more people as well into their news feed. So appreciate that also. Okay, let me just make sure I think I've got everything. Yeah, okay, so. I'm gonna put the host code here so we got this. Okay, turn your heads away for a moment, flying through the air again, okay? And I've got that, it is showing. <laughs> so this is my balloon from Mike, um, a little St. Patrick's Day balloon. He is Irish, so he's all about St. Patrick's Day. Um, so yeah, I think I showed it last week, but it's still around, so I have to show it one more time. Can you see? <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. So eventually it will um, not have any more air in it, but it's good for now. Although the funny thing I have to tell you guys, um, Storm, when he first saw it, totally started barking at it because he was like, he didn't realize what it was. I don't know. He was kind of like freaked out by it. So I guess I've heard that dogs have done that before, but I don't remember Storm. We probably haven't had balloons around much. So anyway, it was kind of funny. He was like, barking like crazy at it, like it was some kind of like alien or something. Okay, so host code. This is the code you want to use if you put an online order in. The C-X-H-U-G-X-U-P is what we're looking for for your online order at stampinup.com. Just use that host code and then it links right back to me and you get all the good freebies. Okay, so I have to show you guys before we do our stamping, we had scrapbook class. It was this month. Yeah, earlier or this week. Yep. So I actually did it on Monday because I was trying to um, be ready for districts that I thought were going to be on Tuesday, which they turned out not to be. But it was also good because it was my sister's 49th birthday, so I was able to hang out and celebrate with her on Tuesday. Anyway, so long-winded way of saying scrapbook class was on Monday this month. Oh, let's see. Um... Oh, that's cute. Denise is saying, my friend's daughter said she knows when I send a card uh, because the envelope is fancy with little stamps on it. Yes, isn't that so true? It's like a little preview of what's inside and so very fun, right? So yeah, it's cute. It's fun to decorate the outside of your um, envelopes too. Okay, so this is one of the pages that we made. I'm gonna see if I, can I show both of them? I guess I kind of can. You can't quite see all together, but here, these are the two of the three pages that we made at Scrapbook Class with the beautiful, this is that Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper, I love that paper, and then the stamp with this, you are lovely um, on that sentiment right there, and then just some more pretty um, stamping done with that um, art gallery stamp set maybe, and then some more of the Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper. It's just some of my most favorite. I love even that soft, subtle, kind of looks like tile almost, right? Okay, so I don't know if you can see, that was two of our pages we always make three pages so we make a two page spread and then we make a single page spread oops I'll take that little sticky off um, that we will make the other half of next month so this is with the sweet ice cream 
um, or the ice cream corner bundle, right? So we've got some fun ice cream there. You melt my heart and then a little couple, three little spots there um, to put your pictures. And I, this is some of my favorite paper. I think, well, I love ice cream. So that's probably one of the reasons. And then I love like these stripes too. We use another, it was like a purple diagonal stripe on the other page and I love that too. So I didn't want to show both of them. So next month I'll show you the other half here because I don't want to um, spoil the surprise for anybody that's going to be at scrapbook class. So, but I will tell you, if you're interested, scrapbook class is pretty much always, especially now that um, basketball season will be over in April, it's the last Tuesday of every month from 6 to 8 p.m. So if you're interested in joining us at scrapbook class, let me know because I'd love to get you signed up for class and come make cute pages with us each month. Okay, here we go, people. I'm going to grab my grid paper. Okay. I think, let's see, we'll move this up here. I always have to move this so that I know it's like kind of crooked, but I think we're good. Okay, need a quick sip of water. Mm. Okay, so again, we are playing with the pretty parasol stamp set, and then the, this is the builder punch, the umbrella. <laughs> yes, not the parasol, the umbrella builder punch. Okay, that's what we're gonna play with today, right now, okay, ladies? So let me scoot this, yeah, because this was, was it backwards? I think it was, but there's something about it. This actually, I think, kind of looks like a, like a stained glass chandelier. Couldn't you see that? It could be something kind of fun. And this one really too, right? You could have, you could do something fun um, with these, not just umbrellas and parasols, right? And then the other little detail that kind of comes down underneath these. I'll, I'll show you that. We used many of these stamps um, on our projects today. Okay. So here is our first project. Sharon, your name keeps popping up a million times now too. <laughs> I don't know why that is. There's something funny about how you're linked up, I guess. Okay, so we've got, this is the cute little parasol right there. And then this one happens to be filled with flowers instead of rain, right? It's a happy day. Uh, wishing you warmth and sunshine. So let me um, kind of zoom in there so you can see that because that's teeny tiny, right? But super like just beautiful handwriting there also. Okay. So let's get started on these. I got my glasses just in case I need them. We will put our ink pads right up here. Okay, so I've got a few parts and pieces. Okay, so we are gonna start, how about this color combination too? Super springy, I thought. I love that color combo. So this is Coastal Cabana cardstock, right? Along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. Can you guys see that? I think it's in view, isn't it? I don't know, it got kind of um, skewed there. Okay, and then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. We're gonna make a tall card like that, right? Okay, let me just set this aside right over here because then we have a bunch of pieces. We have a piece of basic white cardstock. This one measures three and a quarter by four and a half. And again, all of these measurements are gonna be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com later this afternoon after I get everything uploaded. This is Bermuda Bay cardstock that measures three and one eighth by four and three eighths. That's just gonna layer right inside there. And then we've got uh, Calypso Coral cardstock. This one measures two and a half by three and three quarters. And the basic white, um, two and three eighths by three and five eighths. And that's gonna layer right inside there. And then I also have scrap pieces of Basic White, Bermuda Bay, Coastal Cabana. I have this little piece of designer series paper that's gonna go right there that measures one and a quarter by two and three eighths, okay? And then our Whisper White that goes on the inside of our card. This one is a standard, pretty much always make this four inches by five and a quarter inches for the inside of my card, okay? All right, so let's do our stamping. We have one little die that we're gonna use. This is from the Tasteful Labels dies. And I love, can you guys see if I zoom right up in there, the detail, these dies are not retiring either, which I'm super happy about because I use these things all the time. This is the thing, if you do not have the Tasteful Labels dies yet, and why do I not have them out here? Because I used them last week on a card, I think. Um, yeah, let me go grab them though, because they're some of my favorites. One moment, ladies. Fortunately, I had them right where I thought that I had them. Yeah, 
So here we go. These are the dies. If you do not have the tasteful labels dies, you got to get these. Okay, because look at you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different labels. Um, and I, I don't think there's another one. I think it's nine. But look at awesome with some fun details, some stitching, um, some kind of embossing. But we're going to use that little baby right there today. Okay, so let's see. What are we going to do here? Um, well, we're going to do some stamping, right? Okay, so let's do the inside. Wishing you warmth and sunshine. We're going to stamp that right on. Let's get that over there. Do that one. So I've got my Bermuda Bay ink is what we're going to use right here. Okay. Okay, so stamping. It's like stamping 101. Nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. Do not press too hard because you don't need ink all over your clear black, right? That's like kind of just a waste of ink. And then it makes things really messy. So don't press too hard. And then you only get ink on your stamp, which then ends up on your paper, right? Okay, so that's step one of stamping. Let's grab, we're gonna use, this is our piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock. And I must be using this stamp on the other. Where is it? There it is. Okay, yep, I did use this on both of them. Okay, so we're going to use this cute little parasol. I'm going to stamp it right side up because that's how it's in the punch. I couldn't remember if it was upside down or right side up. So again, you can see, nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. I'm going to press straight down. I do kind of rub on there, but I'm not wiggling or rocking, and then I'm going to lift straight up. That's all we need to do for that one. Then I'm going to actually punch this little baby out because I found that... It was easiest to stamp all those little flowers on my white piece. So we're going to have some kind of scraps around there, right? Um, but these little flowers to stamp on our white piece here, which is right here. I'm going to lay that out. I'm going to put this, I'm not going to adhere it because if I really don't like how I stamp the flowers on here, I'm going to flip this white piece over and stamp it again. But I do want to put some dimensionals. I feel like my shirt's kind of Coastal Cabana too. What do you guys think? Doesn't it look kind of like it's matching? I did not do that on purpose, but that's kind of fun, huh? Okay. All right. We got, I'm going to put these dimensionals right in here. Okay. So this is what I was kind of saying was I want to kind of lay that down and so that then I can kind of fill my little umbrella. So let's see, I'm gonna scoot these down just a titch and we're gonna kind of add these in. Mm. We'll see if I like how I did that. I think I'm gonna add a few more and this is gonna kind of get covered up, but I kind of wanna make it look like yeah, that'll work, right? Good morning, Miss Diana. Thanks for hanging out with us. Okay, I'm happy with that stamping, so I think we're good there. All right, so we're going to close up. That's our Bermuda Bay ink pad. Now we're going to use our Coastal Cabana ink pad for our little sentiment, It's a Happy Day. We're going to just stamp that right on this piece of basic white cardstock. So again, nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Yeah, so there are two great stamp sets, um, aren't there, Philomena, with the umbrellas, and they're both, mm, I don't like how that's stamped, um, they are both retiring along with the umbrella builder punch. So if you, I can't remember the name of the other one, but I'm sure if you like search umbrella on the Stampin' Up! website, the other one will come up too. Um, they're both super duper cute. Okay, no punch there. We need to die cut that. So I think we are good. I'm going to scoot these ink pads out of the way. Scoot this guy up here. What's that strip for? Oh, I know. I'm like, why do I have this? Um, ooh, let's see. Um, almost missed you. Oh, you're getting your second COVID vaccination. Go, Miss Diana. Awesome. I finally got signed up myself. I go, Kate and I. So Kate can go because he's 18, but Lily's not 18, so she can't go yet. Um, so hopefully sooner than later she will be able to. Um, but yeah, Kate and I are gonna go. I don't know, like a week and a half or so, early April. We get to do that, so that will be good. And it's the one dose. Under my umbrella, that's the other stamp set. Yes, thank you, Philomena. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I was saying my sister got the one dose. Is it Johnson & Johnson? And had good luck with it, so I'm hoping that I do too. And Kay does also. Although, I don't know, you guys probably hear lots of different things too. I've heard... The younger you are, maybe 
the more side effects you have from this vaccination. You know, who knows if that's like really true or not, but I'll let you know after Kate gets his vaccination. Okay, so there's our It's a Happy Day. Okay, we're gonna scoot this right out of the way. All right, so yeah, this little baby is for, we're gonna just put this, this is just a little um, strip of Bermuda Bay cardstock. So we need, is that gonna pop? There's the little um, umbrella piece right there. Okay, so don't lose that, Amy. All right, I think we are ready to put some things together. I'm just gonna put a dimensional or two behind this. So that's all ready to go. Okay, ooh, my mouth is so dry. And a little bit more water there. Okay, and the other thing I'm gonna do, because this piece is pretty little, and I think we're gonna need it for that little baby. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is um, designer series paper. The, is it Dandy Garden? Pretty sure that's what it is. So I like to use my little silicone craft mat when I have um, kind of a small piece that I need to put adhesive on, especially like that little, um, the bottom of the umbrella. We're definitely gonna need this little guy. It helps so that you don't get um, adhesive all over your little grid paper, that's called, Amy. Okay, here we go. We can just keep kind of building things here. Actually, let's skip over. I'm gonna do this next. I'm gonna put my whisper white piece. I'm gonna put that right on my card. Okay, and again, all the dimensions, item codes, everything you need to recreate these cards will be over on my blog at gatheringinkspiration.com this afternoon. So, or for example, last week's stuff, all the details to make those little butterfly cards, is they're all over there right now. Okay, so we have, this is Pool Party. Um, what is it called? Pool Party Sheer Ribbon, it's called, yes. So I thought this worked um really well with this also the pool party kind of pool party coastal cabana bermuda bay all like pretty shades of blue that all make you think of like sunshine and summer right the names alone pool party coastal cabana bermuda bay makes me want to go on a trip right how about you guys <laughs> i'm a ready for a trip let me tell you so actually today starts spring break for my kids and we're literally not doing anything because of basketball. I don't know, you know, who knows if we would have either way. But um, with regionals next week, you just can't plan. I mean, we're hoping to get into regionals. Um, yeah, so it'll be fun, though. I mean, I love watching basketball, right? So it's not like we're not doing something fun, but it would be nice to go get some sun, too. That's for sure, right? Okay, so we're going to add some adhesive sorry if this is wiggling i feel like it might be a little bit <laughs> yes the ribbon is staying i love my ribbon you guys like ribbon i don't know i'm all about the ribbon the pretty pretties okay so we're going to peel off the backs of these we're going to put our oops not upside down we're going to put our it's a happy day we're going to add our little parasol here so cute, cute, cute. Do I like that? Yeah, okay, there's that. Now, this was the other reason why I had this little guy out. So this is the perfect example right here, this teeny tiny little thing. You would get um, adhesive all over your grid paper <laughs> if um, you weren't using this little silicone mat, right? So. Super handy little guy there. Okay, we're just gonna add him in right there. And not quite, voila, I was gonna say voila, but we need, so our little, these are the holiday rhinestones. Can't remember if these are retiring, ladies. I'd have to look. I do have my book though. Let's take a quick peek. Oops. So we're gonna add maybe pool party, I don't know, kind of a pale blue. I think it works really well. You know, we gotta add bling to most every card, right? Let me see, where is my, oh, I'm hiding it, my angel catalog. Let's see if these are retiring. I'm curious. We need to know. So can you see all my highlights? So those are some things, those um, many punches. Look, oh, the banner triple punch. I use that still all the time. Kind of bummed about that. Um, what are we looking for? The number eight. Oh, they're not. Okay, so they're carrying over. Holiday rhinestones. Good to know. 
At least they're not highlighted, so unless I missed it this morning, which who knows, I was a little bit sleepy. Okay, so we got the first card done, right? All right, let me scoot this stuff out of the way. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna clean, because I think I need one of these stamps anyway, so we're just gonna clean all of these. Oh, I forgot to put the inside of my card in there too. I'm seeing that kind of hanging out there. We'll do that real quick. This one I know I need again, okay. You guys all have a chamois too, right? Make sure you have, that'd be another good thing to stock up on um, when you're getting all your retiring products as a chamois if you don't have one of those already. Love those things. Okay, let's put the inside of our card in here and then we'll really move on to our next card. Okay, we're gonna just pop this right inside there, okay? All right, so card number one is done with the pretty parasol stamp set. I'm glad you like that card, Susie. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, trying to make sure. Okay, so now this next one, I'm gonna show you the card and I have to tell you, okay, so there was another gal. Um, so I, let me tell you kind of my process here too. When I go to um, create cards for Facebook Live classes, anything, um, I do not believe the chamois is retiring. I did not see that it was, Anna. Thank you for that question, too. I appreciate that. I wonder if I missed. Nope. I don't think I missed anything else. Um, okay, but back to what I was saying. So I love to go to Pinterest. I type in, in the little looking glass, I always type in Stampin' Up, and then the name of whatever I'm looking for. So pretty parasol. So it's really hard for me to come up with ideas completely on my own. I'm sure I've shared with you guys, I'm an accountant, like I'm a numbers person. This whole creativity thing, I, I can recognize super cute things, but sometimes I have a hard time time coming up with them. Sometimes I don't, but sometimes I do. I was struggling a little bit um, with um, ideas for the stamp set. So I decided I'm going to pop on Pinterest, type in Stampin' Up! Pretty Parasol, just to get some kind of ideas jumping off points. But what happened was, so there was a gal by the name of Linda Callahan that made a card very, very similar to this on uh, Pinterest. And I kept kind of looking at it like, oh, you know, how can I kind of take some ideas and make my own card? And I tried for a really long time to come up with ideas of, you know, something, you know, like I said, kind of a jumping off point from her card. And I realized, you know what? I just love her card. I just want to make her card, basically. So I was like, okay, I kind of made her version of my, well, yeah, her version of her card that I'm gonna share with you guys now. I changed things up a little bit, but you guys, if you if you Google this, you're totally gonna to find this on Pinterest. So just know that I do case things um, from time to time. And this was one that, you know, like when you see a cute card and you just like feel like you have to make it, just make it, right? There's no harm in casing other people's projects. That's what they're doing, putting them out there to share with you um, their ideas. Okay, so what I also want to show you guys, because I love, and I've really not even used much of this suite yet, the Hydrangea Hill Suite. So this is the Designer Series paper. So I just want to kind of pull this out. So you can see this is the piece that I used on this card, right? Then, let me show you kind of front and back. So yeah, that's the little back of that one. Can you guys see? Maybe if I pull these out a little bit more, because I just think this paper is absolutely gorgeous. And this is really cool too. Plus this would be great, kind of masculine looking almost. There's the back side of that purple stripey. There's some more hydrangeas. This is beautiful too, isn't it? I love that. Oops, I skipped past. How about those hydrangea, right? And then um, some more just kind of soft floral. I'm seeing Sharon's comment too. The chamois is not retiring. Thank you for checking that out and letting us know for sure. More hydran hydrangea, right? Yes. Love these flowers. And then just a really soft, subtle um, purple. And then this one, I think it's on, yeah. It's basically this is over on the other side too. So you kind of have um, along a border. And then we've got kind of a Rococo rose pretty soft pattern back there too. So beautiful pack of paper. Obviously I've barely used it, so I gotta get cracking before um, it sells out or it's too late or something, right? Okay, so let's get these things out. A little bit of stamping here, some coloring. I actually did some of it ahead of time just so you guys wouldn't have to sit and watch me do my coloring but let's see i'll kind of tell you let me give you guys dimensions first okay so we're going to start this is a gorgeous grape 
card base, another tall card. So same idea again, along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, right? And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches to make another tall folding card, just like that, right? We have that whisper white piece. Thank you for being my sunshine. How cute is that, right? That's gonna go on the inside again, that standard measurement of four inches by five and a quarter inches. As well, this designer series paper piece also measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. So that's just gonna layer right on top of there. We are gonna do a little bit of stamping right on the designer series paper, which I thought was another fun, because I don't do that very often, right? But another fun idea is to almost use this, because a lot of times I would put like a whisper white piece on here, but I love her idea of using designer series paper as kind of um, a base for your card front too. Okay, so then I just have um, some scraps of basic white cardstock to do our stamping, punching, die cutting, and so on, okay? All right, so let's see, what are we gonna do? So I will show you guys, did I have it? Yeah, right here. So I'm gonna start with this one right here. I already stamped this. So in Night of Navy ink, I stamped this stamp right on there. Okay, so Night of Navy ink right on my basic white cardstock, right? It was kind of the first step. And then I used my dark, that is Daffodil Delight and Highland Heather, my dark Daffodil Delight and Highland Heather um, stamp and blends to color in that little parasol. Isn't that so pretty? And again, I can see um, it's like a stained glass kind of a look too. I think you could have fun making like a stained glass chandelier with that stamp as well. Okay, so that's basically that. I just thought you guys don't need to watch me color that in, right? Okay, so next we are going to, in Gorgeous Grape Ink, we're gonna stamp our sentiment that says, you make the day brighter. Okay, so we've got that one right there. Okay, and um, I'm gonna cut this off because now I'm trying to remember. We'll give that enough room to do our die cutting. But what I wanted to show you guys was we're going to use, so this little parasol right here, so we want to stamp it. I'm going to keep that so you can see you want to kind of stamp it sideways like that. So we're going to be able to feed this right in. And we want to stamp it on this side so that we can feed it right in like that, okay? So we're going to stamp one. This is also in Gorgeous Grape. And I'm going to show you guys this because I think it's really pretty, the detail on these, right? So can you see? Isn't that beautiful? Kind of that scroll work detail on there. And okay, so before I shut that, I am going to stamp, oh, we actually need to do our sentiment. So this super cute, teeny weeny, but it stamps really, really well, you guys. Hopefully I've not jinxed myself when I say that. Thank you for being my sunshine. Look at how cute that is. Teeny weeny little stamp there, right? Okay, and then we need to, okay, so this is like the scary part is um actually let's punch these before i before i get to the scary part let's get mm, i need my glasses on one moment okay so we're going to punch these little babies and i'm going to put dimensionals behind them okay come on buddy all right that looks good i'm going to do one more so you can see how i stamped it on that right edge of my strip of cardstock so that Okay, it's moving a little bit, there we go. All right, so we got those. And then I also want to punch my little parasol because I'm gonna put some dimensionals behind all of these things. We're gonna use them to help us kind of guide where um, we are gonna do our other stamping. Let's just get that stuff out of there, right? Okay, so that one, that one, and that one. Okay, let's just put this on the inside of our card so I don't forget it. So I almost did that with the last one. Okay, love this fun, gorgeous grape too, right? Even her color combo, I loved her color combo. I tried so hard to make, you know, like I said, make something similar but not the same. And I was like, I just love her card. I just wanna make her card and I wanna show you guys how to make it too. So Linda Callahan, thank you for your inspiration. Okay, so here we go. We are gonna put this little baby, maybe right about there. And then we are gonna grab, oops, that kind of stuck on there. So we're using Night of Navy ink, and we're gonna um, stamp the little tassels that are just so cute. So these little tassels are gonna go right down below 
Okay, so that's where I want that lined up. I'm gonna stamp that right there, okay? So then that's gonna kind of fit. Isn't that so cute? Can you guys see? Let me show you. Look at those tassels. Love, right? Love, love, love. Okay, next we are going to, not in this color ink, Amy, we need our soft suede ink, okay? So here we go. Nice, easy tap, tap, tap as always, right? We're gonna stamp that. And you can see, can you, can you see like the little um, tassels on the end of that handle too? So cute, all the little details with these, right? Now, okay. So I think I'm gonna put this one on because I wanna know exactly, oops, where this is gonna lay, okay? Cause then I want this one to kind of layer, right? Below it, maybe right about there. So now I need this little guy. We're gonna stamp, make sure that's inked up well. I'm gonna move it just a little bit and I'm gonna kind of stamp that just like that. So then he's gonna go right there like that, okay? We can add him on there. And then we have one more. He goes maybe right about there. And so we're gonna stamp this handle maybe right there, okay? And then we'll add him. Hello, Miss Nikki. Thanks for joining us today. Okay, I think we're doing all right. Whew. It, that was kind of tough for me when I was working on this um, the other day, um, but I think I did a better job <laughs> this time than I did when I was doing it the other day, so that's kind of good. Okay, oh, oh, you know what I forgot? I wonder if we're going to be able to do that. I think we're not going to do it, but let me show you. I missed the tassels since I already, unless that's not stuck on there. Yeah, it's stuck on there pretty well. That's okay. But can you guys see there are some other little tassels underneath that one too? So next time, put that on there and then this little baby actually goes like that in Night of Navy ink, right on there like that, okay? You can kind of barely see it, right? Okay, so next time I'll do that. Um, but I think it still, it still looks very cute, right? Okay, so the last thing we need to do, we're gonna die cut our sentiment here. So let me grab my cut and emboss machine. You guys all have one of these? Yeah, I hope you do. I love like the beautiful sleek. Oh, and that's what I forgot. You guys, I got new um, cutting pads. We're gonna use these right now. Look at these. These are like, and it comes with the little um, piece of tissue paper in between. Look at, you can't even see, right? Compared to these nasty things. Yes, we're gonna break it in right now. I can't believe I forgot to do that earlier. Okay, tissue paper, go away. It's like clinging. Get off of there. <laughs> oh my gosh, seriously. Okay, that one, we're getting rid of. Look at, woo wee, how about that, huh? Isn't that nice? Okay, and we are using, these are the Hippo, right? Hippo and Friends dies. Love all the little Hippo and Friends images, right? But really love all of the labels that are in here too. Can't stop playing with these things. Okay, so we're gonna use, this is the smallest, so the second smallest little label die right there, okay? We are gonna die cut this little baby. And where's the other one? So that's the problem when they're so clear, you don't, you can't even like find them. Oh my gosh, the first moment of using brand new cutting pads. Woo hoo hoo, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. And it's so crisp and clean as opposed to all the junk that gets etched in <laughs> all over the place when I use my old ones. Okay, oh, the little things, right ladies? Okay, so we're gonna put a couple of Dimensionals behind our sentiment. Actually, let's add this onto our card too. Isn't that beautiful? You guys love that back of that paper too? All right, so here we go. I'm gonna add that little guy. I already peeled, nope, I have not peeled those off. Okay, we'll do that now. Peel the max, oops, off the dimensionals. And we're gonna pop that thing. You make the day brighter. What a beautiful sentiment, right? And who wouldn't love to receive a card with that sentiment on it? So very sweet. And then the opal rounds, you guys know me. I always have to add, right, my little bit of bling. Everything's better with bling. Add a couple of those little opal rounds. You could kind of maybe think of them as like raindrops, right? Okay, so there is our second card. What do you guys think? Aren't those so cute? 
cute, right? The pretty parasol stamp set and then the umbrella builder punch is what we use to create these projects today, right? Okay, so quick recap as always, right? If you put your online order in of at least $30, between now and our next Facebook Live, you are gonna get one of each of these cards sent as a thank you. Make sure you use the C-X-H-U-G-X-U-P. This host code is always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Your name will also go in the drawing to win this Hooray to You stamp set. $30 order minimum, right? Then if you bump your order up to $50, you can pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or this month's free embellishment, which are the awesome champagne rhinestones. So, so much good stuff. Get your retiring products while you can. I always have people that like don't realize what's going on and don't order in time and they're so bummed that they missed out on things. So don't let that happen to you, ladies. Make sure you get your things while you can. So let me know if you guys have any questions on any of this. I'll get everything uploaded. i get all the details again over there on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Hope you guys have a great Friday and a great weekend. We'll see you soon. Oh, and go blue on Friday, uh, not Friday, but Sunday, Sunday at five o'clock, Michigan plays Florida State, I think. So really excited about that too as well. So all right, great basketball weekend. Bye everybody. Thank you.